Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are here with an interesting bath which is nothing but set up Salesforce knowledge. So this is also going to be the prerequisite for our advanced admin certification. If you need solution for any of these challenges, playlist will be available in our channel. Do check that. So let's take up our first challenge now which is nothing but configure Salesforce knowledge. So once if you launch your playground, let's click on this gear icon followed by service setup. So guys here in the service setup under recommended setup you will get to see add your user if you click on get started you will find how many license is remaining so here we have used all the license so i'll tell you how to reduce the license which we have already used so in quick find search for user and click on users So here I'm just going to deactivate some user. Just click on edit next to any user. Let's say Alison. So I'm just going to click on edit. So next to this active we are going to uncheck this checkbox. Now click on OK followed by save. So again next to Marcus I'm just going to click on edit. So you can do this for any user whichever is available in your profile. Uncheck this active checkbox followed by OK followed by save. So after this let's refresh this page once. Now click on home followed by get started. So if you are observing it right over here you will find one of two license used so in this way we can reduce the user license so let's scroll up in our challenge so guys one more thing if you are not finding two of two license used over here you can skip the step of deactivating a previous user let's copy this and paste it right over here in username so in order to avoid duplication just include your initial followed by today's date followed by dot com so in this way we can avoid duplication and for email you can fill out your own email so once if it is done let's give our first name as adda followed by our last name let's copy this and paste it right over here so once if it is done let's choose our profile as custom support profile followed by add user so this is very important you should click on add user so it says this username is already taken so let me change some things So I have just changed my initial followed by date. Now click on add user followed by finish. So once if it is done, let's click on this user again so that you will get to find the user which we have just added. So here I'm just going to click on this profile which is custom support profile. Make sure that you are clicking right over here on this profile so guys once if it is done if you are getting this page by chance we need to disable our enhanced profile user for that let's click on this gear icon followed by setup so here in quick find I'm just going to search for user management settings so once if you get the result click on it So here if you scroll down just enable this enhanced profile user interface. So once if it is done give a refresh again. Now click on this gear icon followed by service setup. Let's go to our users. And now we can make a click on custom support profile again. 
so now you could able to find some changes which we didn't get this page before so here if you scroll down you will find system permissions click on it followed by edit so scroll down so guys here you will find this lightning experience user right over here just cl click on this checkbox and now scroll up click on save followed by save again so guys once if it is done in quick find search for login access policies and click on the result just enable this checkbox followed by save and now let's go to our session settings so in quick find search for session settings so if you are getting inside we are just going to disable force re-login after login as user so once if you disable this let's check it out once so yeah this is going to be force re-login after login as user so once if it is disabled let's scroll down and click on save so guys now in this recommended setup i'm just going to click on view all on right side so here search for knowledge followed by knowledge setup click on it and now click on start just select this Beliva user followed by your username click on next followed by next followed by finish so guys now in quick find let's search for feed tracking and click on it so here we are going to enable it for knowledge so if you scroll down you will find knowledge right over here click on knowledge followed by enable feed tracking followed by save so that's all about this challenge let's go back and click on check challenge so yeah guys we have successfully completed our first challenge remaining challenges will be available in the same playlist do check that see you all on next video until then bye bye